Hey guys, Tom here again from SynthHacker.com and welcome back to another tutorial for uh, Extra Records Serum. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at making this Charmy or Kirby style uh, future house lead. It's really distorted, really big, uh, really cool. So typically that kind of sound would be uh, in the drop of these Future House tracks and typically layered of course over um, a, another like a bass element underneath um, which you know uh, I've already done tutorials on, on that. Um, but yeah really really cool sound, um, it sounds absolutely huge. The only uh, external effect that I'm using uh, for this tutorial is just an external reverb um, simply because I prefer it to the reverb within Serum. Um, so you don't need to worry about any external effects really unless you want to kind of add your own reverb It's completely up to you. Um, everything else is just coming completely from the synth, which is really really cool um, And these sounds these future house leads are actually r pretty cool because Although they sound, you know, really kind of modern, um, they're actually using quite simple uh, waveforms. It's just some of the modulation that we've got going on which really gives it its characteristics. Um, so we're going to be making this sound completely from scratch. I'll go ahead and initialize the preset. Um, just be before I begin making it guys, as always, this video is sponsored by my website. Um, definitely go ahead and check it out if you want to get your hands on some presets for Serum, all handcrafted by me. Um, I'm cur I currently have a sale on a preset pack uh, which has over 600 presets for Serum. It's like the Serum Mega Pack, I believe it's called. Um, so definitely go ahead and check that out over at SynthHacker.com or uh, simply click the link in the description below. And if you purchase that, um, I really think you'll enjoy all those presets. You'll definitely get a lot of use out of reverse engineering them um, as well. And of, of course, thanks in advance if you do decide to purchase them. Um, it really helps support me and the channel. Uh, but without further ado, I'll stop rambling and let's begin uh, making this sound. So we've initialized the patch here, so we just have this saw wave. We've still got the same uh, melody going through, and I've still got the external reverb on, so um, don't, don't worry too much about that. Um, so we're going to start off in oscillator A and we're just going to pitch this down uh, minus one octave. Um, the main thing to bear in mind really is that um, the octave that you, you will kind of need to use for the oscillators will depend on the MIDI notes that you're actually inputting into Serum. But the important thing to mention is just to make sure that oscillator B is two octaves above oscillator A. Um, that's the main thing to, to make sure and I'll, I'll go over why um, in just a second. Um, the next thing we're going to do is just add seven voices of unison to thicken up the sound. Um, this is just basically meaning that the oscillator is going to be output in seven different voices that are all slightly detuned. Um, and this is a really, really good kind of psychoacoustic trick to kind of make you uh, perceive the sound as, as bigger than, than it actually is. And we're just going to bring the, the blend down a little bit here as well. Um, we're just going to keep the waveform as it is, so we're just going to use a basic uh, sawtooth waveform. Uh, but then in oscillator B, what we're actually going to do is change it to this analog BD sine. Um, really cool um, waveform because it is obviously just a sine wave, but you can kind of get like an imperfect characteristic um, out of it, which is also, um, just to give you guys a tip, is really useful for key sounds as well. Um, and then what we're going to do, um, which really gives it a lot of the uh, the sound's edge and a lot of the kind of like modern characteristics of the sound, is using some uh, FM, um, so some frequency modulation from oscillator B. So the cool thing about the sound is, although we've got oscillator B on, we're not actually using it as a sound source, we're using it as a modulation source. So we're going to turn the amplitude all the way down, so we're not going to hear what this uh, oscillator is outputting at all. Uh, but what, is, what we're going to use it to do is actually modulate oscillator A, and I'll show you the effect that this has. So I'll just put the master up a little bit, and listen what happens as I increase this um, frequency modulation amount. So 
So really, really crazy tones just out of really simple, um, really simple waveforms by using this uh, frequency modulation. And it's really, really cool. You can uh, take FM from oscillator B, or if you wanted to uh, free this oscillator up um, to have like another layer to the sound, you can uh, do FM from the sub oscillator or even the noise oscillator. It's really, really cool. Um, so we're going to leave this about where it is. Um, it's really given it a lot of its uh, of the sound's characteristics. Um, and then next, what we're going to do is just set up our envelope. So we're going to use two envelopes in this sound. We're obviously going to have our amplitude envelope, which is envelope one, and then we're going to use envelope two as a modulation source uh, for the filter in just a second. Um, so for the uh, amplitude envelope, we're just going to have like a really sharp attack to the sound. So the, the start of the sound is going to be really loud to give it that like pluck like nature. Uh, but we're going to have the sustain slightly over halfway. Um, we're going to give this lead sound a little bit of release as well. Um, and then that's just the amplitude envelope set up. Next, we're going to set up a modulation envelope, which is going to be used to modulate the cutoff frequency of the filter in just a second. Um, we're going to move the decay to around uh, 2.6 seconds, but then we're going to bring the sustain down to about 50, between 15 and 20%, so maybe about 17%, something like that. Um, and then what we're going to do is just give it a little bit of release, more than the amplitude envelope, so maybe about 380 or something like that. And then we're going to change the actual characteristics of the envelope from something which looks more linear like this does, and we're going to give it even more of a, a sharp uh, envelope, which will really come in useful. Um, so currently we just have this. So it's kind of getting there, you can hear it's more pluck like um, but it's still not quite there. So what we're going to do is set up our filter, and we're going to change this to a low-pass 18 dB uh, filter, which is one of the more extreme filters, as you can see from the uh, visual cue here. And then what we're going to do is bring the cutoff right down, uh, but then we're going to use envelope 2 to modulate the cutoff, and this has this effect. So that's much closer to kind of what we're aiming for. Um, but then what we're going to do to give it that really nice distorted, gritty, overdriven feel is we're going to increase the, the drive amount and also uh, this fat parameter as well. Um, and these are really, really powerful within Serum. Definitely don't underestimate these. Um, a lot of people, a lot of the patches that I've seen people create so far, you know, they've got really cool things going on um, with, and with like a low pass filter or whatever. And just simply by taking those patches and increasing this drive or fat parameters, you can really grit them up and make them sound even more aggressive. It's really, really cool. Um, so I'll show you the effect that this has. One thing that I also forgot to do was turn down the random phase amount <coughs> on oscillator A and B. Now, um, I'll just quickly talk about this because it's quite important. Um, by default, the random amount is full, and essentially what this means is that uh, when the random amount is full, each time a note hits, the waveform is going to be starting in a different uh, position. And although this is good because it can sometimes avoid that like laser zapping sound that you get when every note's uh, played exactly the same, and it's good for like key sounds and stuff like that where you kind of want a little bit of variation uh, every time you press a note, just to give it some characteristics. For a lead sound like this, we want it to sound really consistent. And so just moving this random phase uh, amount is, is really important. So you can hear now it's it's much more consistent um, as you can hear. So next, what we're going to do is simply go into the effects section, and we're going to use the hyperdimension effect and also uh, distortion, which I'll get to in just a second. Um, we're not going to use the uh, hyper section uh, too much. We're just going to bring the mix down a little bit. The main thing that we're going to be using uh, for the sound is the dimension expander effect, which is really similar to the dimension expander um, if you've used Massive before. Um, so we're going to bring the mix amount up quite a lot, bring the size down just a little bit, and you'll hear the effect that this has. It really kind of makes the sound um, expand, as you'd probably guess, <laughs> um, and makes it sound bigger. It's really, really cool.
Absolutely awesome. And that's one of the main characteristics I find for these like future house leads. Um, it, typically using these like dimension expanders to make them fill the space because typically in a future house shop there's really not too much going on. There's just like basic, very minimal basic drums, a lead sound and usually just a bass sound underneath and then maybe one or two other elements um, like a pad or an app or something like that um, or some like chopped vocals. But typically, you know, there's not really much going on in a future house truck so you can really get away with really pushing these sounds to, to their limits um, and making them sound as big as possible to fill that kind of empty space. Um, so the next thing I want to do really to add a lot of grit to the sound is of course use a distortion uh, effect. Um, now what we're going to do is select this uh, pre-mode here, if you hover over it, it, it um, shows you all the different modes that you can use for the distortion. We're just going to use a basic um, tube distortion, we're going to move it up to a high pass so we're, we're basically because the mix, mix amounts full, this is also acting as a bit of an EQ. Um, so like it's cutting off all frequencies below like 300 hertz and then we're really going to push this drive and you can really kind of play around with this to your own taste you know if you want a more clean sound you know you can have less drive or maybe no distortion at all it's completely up to you but I really like the effect of driving this I'll just quickly show you Absolutely awesome. I really, really like the distortion within Serum. It's really, really cool. Especially, you know, being able to be able to have, um, being able to select like specific frequencies within the sound to just distort and leave everything else. Really, really, really cool stuff. Um, so that pretty much covers uh, all the sound. Pretty much. I mean, you can play around with some different waveforms. Um, you know, maybe mess around with the uh, FM until you find a sound that you like. I'll quickly demonstrate that actually how differently you can change the sound or how drastically you can change the sound by changing this. <laughs> absolutely awesome so yeah hopefully you got a lot of use out of this video um it's a really really cool sound um absolutely love making these kind of leads it's re they're really really fun to make um hopefully you got a lot of use out of the video if you did please leave a like um subscribe to stay uh, up to date with future videos and also if you have any questions about this sound or anything else feel free to leave comments down below i do try and get back to as many people um, as i can and as i mentioned earlier guys um, if you haven't already go ahead and check out my website over at synthhacker.com to get your hands on some presets just like this um, as i mentioned i currently have a sale on the serum mega pack that i brought out which has over 600 uh, presets for serum all handcrafted by me um, so definitely go ahead and check that out if you haven't already um, thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video